Yeah. And um, what changes have you seen in your 16 years here then? Um, well, just focusing on the village. Um, we had the shop, which closed. But then it reopened just at the yeah just at the start of COVID. Yeah. Strange time to reopen, but it reopened, oh, and it's brilliant because we've got a little local shop now. Yeah. And it's next door but one, <laughs> and I love it. Yeah. And we've got most villages have got welfare hall, like this one. Yeah. Ours is a bit smaller, but it's a hub for the village, and like there's groups on there and they have annual events, and it's just like a little meeting spot. So that's still going on? That's right? still going. Um, we've got the pub, but it's just closed, which is sad. That's sad, yeah. Yeah, but that was called... Um, well, that was based, because another sad thing, we had used to be a railway, but yeah. that closed in the 60s. Yeah. And the, the railway line would have been fantastic to still have that going. But it might ho open again, because they're opening... They're changing the coal mine across the road into a track for testing electric trains <laughs> and they might open the railway again from oh, that point yeah. which will be nice so buses are a problem so transport into the villages they're a problem because so, they so come and go the film industry that's oh. happened over the last years yeah well across the road in banwin is where they film pride which was the combination of LGBTQI plus people and the miners in support, which was brilliant. And Hendrith Falls is in Colburn. And that, if you watch the last Batman film, the waterfall towards the end, in front of Batman's cave, is Hendrith Falls, which was really good because I watched them go and make it and they dammed the river to make it a bigger waterfall. <laughs> but it was quite a rainy day, so it was a massive waterfall anyway. <laughs> But it's one of the highest waterfalls in South Wales, the tallest, yeah, so that's nice. They didn't knock um, you apart then? No, didn't get apart in that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and up to, down near Aberdare, they made a programme there where the garage and the pub and the workshop is. I can't remember the name of it, but it's, a, it's just finished the series. And that was there, a murder in the workshop. So that yeah. was a good one. <laughs> so how did you end up? How did you end up? Tell me, how, how did you end up down here? Well, I'm a bit of a... I think there's two sides to our family. My brother, who stayed up north in Ramsbottom, and he doesn't want to move. And I think I'm the traveller. I'm the wanderer. Because I've been Manchester, Bexhill-on-Sea, Blackpool, Birmingham, Botswana, Hereford... And now I'm in South Wales because my partner's got a job as a nurse. Right. So I followed my partner down here. I got a job in Cardiff. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, and how did you find it compared to all those other places you mentioned? Well, what I like about where we live in the village, it's like where I was born in Manchester mm. at that time. Because where yeah. I was born has changed. Yeah. Half the street's been knocked down, the shops are all gone. It's all different people live there now. But up in Colburn, it's like how I was brought up. We're in the street, I know the neighbours, I know the people who live in the village. It's just like it was when I was young. It was a community, back to a community. When I lived in Hereford, there's no community. I didn't even know the neighbours. But just being in a small village, you know everybody and everybody knows you, <laughs> so it's just nice. And you see people come and go, and, but I've been there 16 years and people are dying now, which is sad. Yeah. But that's community changing because new people are coming into their houses now, so it's you just... Still yeah, you here. still get the community feel, yeah. So, so now I just, I do art. Which is why I'm here, <laughs> paint, learning to paint some of my ancestors now. <laughs>